My name is Awanjiko Muhea, MP Kipipiri, Nyandarwa County. Uh, Sam is uh, from a very humble background. He scored a straight A. Hi, Sam. And Sam uh, is my immediate neighbor back in Kipipiri. We schooled with the dad. Of interest is that the dad, Dialikwa na nyonyesha hesabu. Nilikuwa na kope kwa baba yako hesabu. So he's one of the beneficiaries, he's already got his visa, he's already got his ticket, and I think he's going to University of Montclair. And I think we, we already sent some other people to, in January intake. So thank you very much. Wale wanaenda hiyo university, mukona one from Kipipiri. We are here to celebrate the scholars who will be going to America, the fall intake. 85 of them, which is not a mean task to this program. I think as Kenyans, as government, the inspiration should be ours, and we work hard to see how much we can support this program. Most of the students come from humble background, they are A students, they are B plus students, and majority of them are really struggling because relocation is such a, a huge task. And for Bob Muti to be able to consolidate the $5,000 for each student, it will come a time when he shall not be able to do that. So I am pleading with all people of Goodwill, the Mpesa Foundation, the MasterCard, the Equities, the KCB, and whoever is who in this country, including ourselves, the leaders. Even if you have our own foundation, Wanjiko Moya Foundation, most of the leaders are foundations. We should consider to assist a child or two so that at least the burden cannot be so huge to the student because relocating to America with the two loans, the relocation loan and the school fees loan is such a huge burden even to the student. To the students who still doubt this program, I beg that you follow the link and watch today's event, how it unfolds and you confirm that the students have really gone to America, they are studying, particularly from Kipipiri, we already took some in January and some are going this uh, fall intake and the program is real. You are watching Success with Bob Muiti Show, presented to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is an award-winning education financing scheme that helps bright Kenyan students to pursue graduate studies in North America regardless of their financial background. You can find our programs by going to www.kenyaairliftprogram.com The Kenya Airlift Program, empowering dreams. As Kenyans, I plead any good program, let's not manipulate the thinking of people. There could be bad programs. They have been there, we've seen them on social media, but let's not put them in wholesale and think every other program is as bad as program X or program Y. This Kenya Airlift program is a good program and I think it is going to do marvelous to this country. To our president, to the ministers, you are struggling and we are struggling to get the job market. Why can't we come on board and assist Bob Mwiti by giving scholarship to these needed students? And this is a direct job market avenue. I think as government we need to come on board and I'm so sad and so sorry that no government officials have ever shown any interest, be it the Foreign Affairs Ministry, be it the Diaspora Desk, to at least even assist even in moral support to this program. I think you are headed in the right direction because first I would think regionally as a chairperson of regional integration and I'm sure countries like Rwanda will not hesitate to send their students. I'm sure countries like Uganda may not hesitate and we shouldn't even uh, limit ourselves to the region. We should go international because this indeed should be international program. How it will help this program? It shall broaden the base. More students will come. The sensitization education to the mass of citizens all over the world will be free of charge because if a student from Sierra Leone like we have witnessed today from Botswana and others are getting this information I think it will broaden the base of the students. Maybe just a word to the students when you get to America get direct your books score very well as you have scored here in your undergraduate 
search for the jobs and always JF Kennedy from University of Harvard and from Botswana. He insisted, do not ask what a country can do for you. Do not ask the government. You are the government. I am the government. We are the government. Let's see what we can do to our country. Bob is doing this. Do another thing. You can do climate change. You can do engineering. You can do entrepreneur. So let's do for our brothers and sisters who remain behind. I think uh, students are stuck. For one, they may have the information, but they don't have resources. And for sure, for Bob as an agent, you not offer this for free. We have seen several employees who are doing the academic advice, the scholars process, and all those IT work. So he need to maintain these staffs in office, he need to pay them, so he need to make that charge. But what I think the government can consider this in a broad way and see how we can help these students. Because they may not be so many. Here we have witnessed four from Nyandaro, maybe two from Mombasa, three from Nyamira. These are needed students who may not reach or finally get their dream because of finances. I think finances is a great, great challenge and this program will continue facing that problem. So I think government need also to consider not only Bob Mitt's program, but many other programs which are similar, which are similar in agenda and which are focused to harvest the planted seeds like Bob Mitt is doing. You have been watching Success with Bob Mitt show brought to you by the Kenya Airlift program. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in North America through real life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to the Kenya Airlift Program YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn.